so let's see so what happens here is now we will try to formulate the recurrence relation so we see that let's cost c i j with the cost of h i comma j okay so this tells us the weight of the h i j and then c o s t cost i comma j it means the cost of the shortest path from node j in the stage i to the sink t okay so this tells cost i comma j for example in this graph it will say that okay cost 3 comma 6 means cost of the shortest path from node 6 in stage 3 to the destination okay so that is the meaning of this cost i comma j so now we can formulate a very good dynamic programming problem recurrence relation cost i comma j which means let's see the cost from node 3 which is in stage 2 to the final destination t so i have how many possibilities from here i can go to the next stage or let's say from 2 i can go to the next stage in three ways okay and let's assume that okay i know what is the shortest path from node 6 7 and 8 which is the in the next stage then i can simply say that okay add this path plus the shortest path from node 6 to t find cost of 2 to 7 that h plus the minimum cost from 7 to t find cost from 2 to 8 this h plus the cost of 8 to t the minimum among them will be the shortest path so this is written here cost ij the cost of shortest path from node j to node t where j belongs to stage i is equal to cost the weight of c j comma l the edge from j to l where j is our node in stage i and l is node in stage i plus 1 so the cost of j to sink t we already know it is cost i plus 1 comma l because this is the cost it is in stage i plus 1 and its node l and then what happens for which of these c j l i calculate so where j comma l belongs to an edge and l is a node in the next stage v i plus 1 so this will help us solve the problem okay so for this graph now let's try to see how we solve the problem okay so let's try to solve this problem here so i am trying to draw because at this page if we do we have the graph here so it will make our life easier okay so sorry to take your time in rubbing things out and clearing things okay so let's see now how it helps so we will make use of the formula that we wrote now and we will try to solve the problem okay so let's see so thanks for your patience so we have here let's try to find cost of what so cost let's try to see or let's make it in a new page clear page will be much better so cost 3 comma 6 cost 3 comma 6 means that we are in stage 3 okay and we want to calculate the value for the node 6 so it will become equal to what it will become equal to minimum of so let's try to see now let's see the figure we have to go henceforth so 3 comma 6 is this node from here i can go to node 9 and node 10 both of whom are in stage 4 okay so i will try to write that minimum of c 6 comma 9 okay plus cost of cost of 4 comma 9 okay this is one such possibility 
next one is from 6 i can go to 10 and then to t so 10 i will take so c so it will be now so this was in fact this will be it will be c of yeah this is 6 comma 9 here it will become c of 6 comma 10 plus cost of 4 comma 10 so if you evaluate this from the figure so c 6 comma 9 is 6 and this cost is because from 9 you can have just one path so this will be 4 so this becomes 10 then here c 6 comma 10 if you see from the graph is 5 okay so this is 5 plus cost of 4 comma 10 so it is just from 10 you have one path to 12 so it is shortest path also so 5 plus 2 7 so the minimum among them is 7 so cost 3 comma 6 is 7 okay so evaluated we evaluated this next we try to go for cost 3 comma 7 so from 3 comma 7 so from 7 you have again two edges if you see here from 7 we have two edges we can go to next stage with to 9 node 9 or to node 10 so these are the two possibilities so again we write minimum of i can go to c now 7 to 9 plus cost of 4 comma 9 c of 7 to 10 plus cost of 4 comma 10 so these are the two possibilities so this becomes c 7 comma 10 is 3 and cost 4 comma 10 from 10 to 12 it is 2 so this is 5 c 7 comma 9 if you see from the graph so it is 4 plus cost 4 comma 9 is 4 so this is 8 so it becomes cost 3 comma 7 minimum is 5 so let's write here cost 3 comma 7 is 5 so this is done so we have got these two answers now let's calculate for 8 so for 8 what happens cost 3 comma 8 from 8 we have two paths if you see from the figure so i can go to 10 note 10 so c of 8 comma 10 plus cost of 4 comma 10 or it will be c of 8 to 11 plus cost of 4 to 11 so if you find these so 8 to 10 so 8 to 10 is 5 here plus cost 4 comma 10 is 2 so this becomes 7 cost 8 comma 11 is 6 plus 5 so this becomes 11 so cost of 3 comma 8 is 7 because the minimum among them okay so we have found for this stage okay so we have found 7 7 so cost 3 comma 6 we got a 7 cost 3 comma 7 was 5 cost 3 comma 8 is 7 so next now we want to calculate similarly so let's see this stage is done now we come to this stage so if you see now from 2 we can go to 6 we can go to 7 we can go to 8 okay so we have already calculated smallest cost path from 6 it was 7 from 7 it was 5 from 8 it was 7 so now what should we do it is simple from 2 what are the possible paths i can take this path and the shortest path from node 6 I can go from 2 to node 7 and from 7 shortest path to T. I can go from 2 to node 8 and then shortest path from node 8 to that. So minimum C 2 comma 2 second stage node 2 is minimum of 4 plus 7 
and 2 plus 5 and 1 plus 7 so this is 11 this is 7 this is 8 so it becomes 7 so c2 comma 2 is 7 okay and then what you do similarly for 3 again what are the possibilities i can go from 3 to 6 and minimum cost path from 6 to t or 3 to 7 and then to t so it will become minimum of so if i go from 3 to 7 so it is 2 plus 7 if i go from 3 to 7 it is 7 plus 5 so this is the minimum 9 this one becomes 12 so this cost for 2 it is 7 for 3 it is 9 from 4 i have just one path so 11 to shortest path from 8 so this from 4 it becomes 11 plus 7 so it becomes 18 from 5 i have two options i can go via 7 i can go via 8 so if i go via 7 it is 11 plus 5 so it becomes 16 if i go via 8 it becomes 8 plus 7 so it is 15 so minimum is 15 okay so 16 and 15 minimum is 15 so we will take as 15 for this and then now what happens i have got from the source i have four options if i go from here then my shortest path from 2 to t is 7 so 9 plus 7 is so 16 is one value okay if i go via node 3 so it becomes 7 plus 9 again 16 if i go via 4 it becomes 18 plus 3 21 if i go via 5 it becomes 2 plus 15 so 17 so my shortest path is of length 16 okay so this is the idea about how to find the shortest path in case of multi-stage graph and if you see so we were calculating for one loop will run for the all the nodes like 9 10 11 then 6 7 8 so we will go basically backward first 12 then 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and then 1 finally 1 so we that for loop will run for all the nodes and in that each of them will do the calculation for their outgoing degrees so this becomes a theta of mod v plus mod e algorithm okay dynamic programming algorithm so i hope you understand this problem of multi-stage graph finding the shortest path from source to sync okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and tell this to your friends thanks a lot